okay now i know you are ready to start creating your own variables but you need to know some of the rules that guides the naming of variables in php now in this video i'll be showing you basically four rules for naming variables in php the first of which is variable names must start with the letter of the alphabet or an underscore for example we could create a variable row and assign it to this text shift programmer now you notice that this is beginning with what an alphabet which makes this a valid variable name we could as well begin this with an underscore it is also very well acceptable this is also a valid variable name but when you begin to say one role for example you have confused php and you can see that this is no more obeying the syntax are light and everything has gone black and whatever that other color is so what we are saying there is a valid variable name in php must begin with either an alphabet or an underscore now that is the first rule now the second rule is that variable names can only contain small letters a to z capital letters a to z numbers from 0 to 9 and the underscore these are the only valid characters that php would recognize in a variable name for example you could say rule one for example this is also acceptable you could say um chief rule one it's also acceptable so these are various ways in which you can actually add various characters to your variable names so these are the valid variable names of variable characters that php recognizes you notice here we have a number we have an underscore and we also have strings or alphabet so this is pretty much what php recognizes as valid variable names now let us try and see the third rule which is that spaces are not allowed in variable names now take note in the case where your variable name must contain more than one word which is popular which is common you should separate them with an underscore take for example you cannot do this this is not a valid variable name because there is space here and white space is not allowed in our variable names when dealing with php in this case just like i did earlier you could separate with an underscore this is acceptable you could as well do this some do this i think it's called camel casing so this is also acceptable when you want to start a new word you begin with an uppercase in any case this is this is just perfectly fine as a variable name now the fourth rule all variable names in php are case sensitive you might be coming from a language whereby variable naming is not really that it's not really case sensitive but in php variable names are case sensitive this means that this variable name here is different from this variable name can you see that what is the difference this starts with the capital letter c and this starts with the small case or lower case c so you can see variable names in php are case sensitive so we have considered four rules in php that govern naming variables so you can play with each and every one of these rules master this rule so that they will guide you while creating your variables in php